Knights and warriors of High Rock and the lands beyond, heed my words. The time has come to expand our borders and increase our military strength. Our enemies have formed alliances with the spineless lords who remain loyal to their elven lieges. But not I, and I pray that many of you feel the same. Our lands have been divided for far too long, and our enemies exploit this division to rally more and more loyalists to their cause. We may be few in number, but when the freedom of our people came under siege, it was we few who answered the call to defend it. We few who fought against the legions of elven conquerors. We brave few who stood against the tide of war, stared death in its cold black eyes and said, do your worst, I dare you. The time has come for us at long last to, uh, to expand our borders. Uh, we shall push north by northwest and uh, take the lands of Beldama. Yeah, I, I believe it's a temple over here, right? Yeah, or a shrine, a shrine. But yeah, uh, we are gonna take this uh, this here shrine of Beldama. Do I feel bad about it? Kind of, you know. But uh, thus is the way of war. Raise all of our men at arms. Oh, I have another daughter. That's amazing. Nice. Four kids. Victisa. Victisa Mordred. I like that. That's a cool name. Yeah, very nice indeed. Yeah, and the Countess Mela. She's going to join the uh, the war down here. The first battle. Yeah, very nice. And now the siege. Come on, let's finish this quickly, lads. The County of Calder is also under, atta uh, under attack, it seems. Our main target for this uh, this campaign is the Kingdom of Daggerfall. Uh, well, not the whole campaign. Actually, our main target is uh, the Isle of Balfiera. So that we can, uh, you know, free ourselves. Did we already get this? Oh, we did not. I don't know why that was like that. But yes, we are now gallant. We are now the gallant knight, as it were. We cannot, however, win this war on our own. And so, we will begin working on our uh, our diplomat skill tree in order to get uh, defensive negotiations. Yeah, can propose one alliance without a marriage. Which is good, because I don't want to marry off my, my daughter and my heir. Anyway, lads, we continue on with the Siege of Beldama. Just a number of days until we're done here. Beautiful. Enforce demands. To the worthless King Terran, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Archbedlam, Gabrielle. So be it. County control, grand tour, no thank you. Uh, we are going to grant uh, Beldama to somebody, however. Vassal Priest Gorin. Which, uh, he doesn't have that great of stats, honestly. Slowly but surely, our, uh, kingdom grows. You know what I'm saying? So, one of my issues is this, however. Uh, the kingdom of Camlorn to our north, and then, uh, Northmoor to our west, uh, are relatively, uh, powerful enemies. And I want the kingdom of Glenpoint. If we can take Glenpoint, then we'll have a, uh, an even stronger position in the south to take the fight to uh to the the king anton the second of daggerfall however declaring war on uh on glen points would not be the smart match because they do have allies uh one with the the count darius of shagalora uh which isn't too bad but then the king Lorgren of northmore as well um puts them just barely out of our strength yeah just barely so here's what I'm thinking. Because we have Northmoor to our west, and they have allied themselves with the uh, the Kingdom of Glenpoint, which is uh, our next target, what I'm thinking is we can go over the head of Northmoor to their greater ally, Camlorn, the, uh, the Queen Mariette. And perhaps we can arrange a marriage between the two of us for the purpose of alliance. 
Uh, perhaps my second-born son, Prince Terran of Dania. To the queen herself. Oh, shit. That would be cool. A loving lock. I'm engaging my dearest Queen Letitia of Dania in our usual pillow talk, wrapping her lovely hair around my fingers. Do you love my hair so, my treasure? Perhaps you should carry it with you always as you go about your duties as king. So then everyone will see you and I are one. I thought at first she was joking, but it quickly became apparent that she truly intends me to wear her hair as an accessory for all to see. Gain the nickname with the trees. You gain the trait loyal. Oh, nice. Sure, fuck it. I am now known as with the trees. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm King Terran with the trees, swooning romantics around the world. Talk of how you never go anywhere without a cutting of your lover's hair. That, oh, with the tress, not trees, sorry. What the hell is a tress? <laughs> but anyway, we are known for our loyalty and our, uh, you know, our romanticism as a king and a knight. That's actually pretty interesting. I do enjoy that. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to start a scheme to sway the Queen Mariette of Camlorn because we can, in fact, arrange a marriage between uh, my eldest daughter and my heir and her uh, son, Prince Percival the Plump, and heir. But in matrilineal, is minus four. So we're going to try and sway her because the only other option I can see to try and increase our uh, relationship together is by uh, granting her some of my artifacts. And I don't want to give her any of my artifacts. There we go. I gave her my artifacts. Let's arrange a marriage. My princess and daughter, your son and prince. Matrilineal marriage. Let's go. Children will be born into House Mordred. Let's go. Send the proposal. Please, Queen Mariette, I beg of thee. I need your uh, alliance. Beautiful. To the benign King Terran of Dania. I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your daughter and heir, Osla, will be betrothed to my son and heir, Percival. Signed, Queen Mariette of Camlorn. Excellent, House Mordred will now control the, uh, the two mighty kingdoms of Dania and Camlorn. And together with our alliance, I do hereby declare war on the treacherous King Anton II of Dag- No, I'm just kidding. Um, not yet. Not Daggerfall yet, I don't think. He does still have allies, this man. So if we declare war, yeah, we're like slightly uh, stronger than he is. And with Camlorn as our allies, they can help defend us from uh, Northmoor while we uh, we focus on Glenpoint. But unfortunately, we can only go for one county at a time, either Glenpoint or uh, Elessin. So let's take a look at our options here. King Anton of Daggerfall. Yeah, he's in mad debt too. And he has one alliance with a, a countess which is uh, up here, the Countess Mela of Kolda. But again, we can only go after one county at a time, which is unfortunate. Shaglora, Daggerfall, the Temple of Th Themond, yeah, Themond, County of Tul uh, Tulun, County of Sicily, which is the, uh, the island. Yeah, I think we should go for Shaglora first. Move our rally points and summon the troops, lads. Yeah, Countess Mela is now joining. Queen Letitia is pregnant again. Let's go, lads. Oh, shit. Ah, the Principality of uh, Cambrai. No wonder they're so weak. It's because uh, the loyalists of Cambria, or not Cambria, Cambrai, wherever the hell. Cambrai Hills, yeah, right here. Interesting. Do I, uh... Oh, I, I don't really have enough troops for this. 14 months left. That's fine. We got time. They're already under siege. That's insane. The lore of language. Ruling the multicultural kingdom of Dania comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak their native tongue in court, breeding resentment. My spy master, Magnet Hiaris, suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Il Ilnivari subjects by learning to speak their language alongside my own. Hire a tutor. It's going to cost 50. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to do that. I gain 150 uh, prestige, though. That's interesting. 
cost 50. Uh, let's hit the books and study on our own, lads. Let's see if we can't manage to uh, learn this language ourselves. Oh, I can call her my ally. That's right. Forgot about her. Spends 150, though. Fuck it. Bring your ass, my lady. My queen. Thank you. Excellent. Join me, your grace. Language learned. Time well spent indeed. Let's go, lads. Not bad. A secret exposed. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal, Magnet Hiaras, has had an extramarital affair with his lover, Viata. How could he defile the sanctity of his marriage? Is he married? Oh, he sure fucking is. Magnet Camus of Rolta. I like her eyes. That's uh, terrifying, actually. The divines will judge these sinners. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I could do with that. I have another daughter. We can name her Letitia. I like that. Morgavira. Morgavira Mordred. That's interesting. Like Morgana, you know? That's interesting. Come on, three months left. Here comes our allies. Oh, look. Enemies. Enemies abound. Nice. Queen Mariette has been uh, swayed as well, which is good. I gained Deviant. What? I'm not deviant. What the hell is that? What the hell? What are you talking about? I'm in the throes of ecstasy aided by a rope as my spy master walks into the room. What are you talking about? Horrified, he throws the door wide open. King Terran, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> what the fuck? I lost the level of devotion because of that. I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? I'm so confused. That's awful, dude. That sucks. All right, hang on, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna link these two armies, and we're gonna head for the lordship of Castle Daggerfall. We take the fight straight to their capital, lads. There was an enemy army from Daggerfall somewhere, so we gotta be wary. Oh, another siege is uh, is abound down here. That's interesting. The kinhold of Balfiera. Ooh, can we take the fight to the Bal to the uh, the Ultima of Balfiera? It's gonna take us five years for this uh, siege anyway. And I'm gonna switch myself in as my commander. Thank you very much. Come on, let's have at the bastards. Death to the Ultima. Have at them, lads. Yes. Yes, Prince Koric of Cambrai. You're nothing to me. Oh, my. Ah, okay. He, uh, my, my, uh, Chancellor is doing good things. Good job. And we win. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. Now we can head back. Aha. Enemies. They have more soldiers than us, but it will not do them any good. Oh my, there's so much happening. On a snowy evening, we we have been marching through these frozen lands for the divines only knows how long. All those men in Dania that do no work and sleep in their warm beds, my knights Yvek complained, shivering from the cold. How long indeed? The days have been short and dark with no respite from the sun above. I close my eyes. The sun. I am struck by the memory of the first sunlight of a long winter, of winter that seemed to last my whole life. The childhood memory spreads like hot water in my veins, offering comfort and solace. Sun and spring came then, and it will come now. And with the sun, victory. You gain first sunlight for four years. Or sunlight speech. Nice. Cool. Nice. Nice. A fallen consort. <gasps> no way. Amidst the chaos that engulfs the forest of Shaglora, I attempt to catch my bearings. Across the field, I spot Letitia desperately fighting. Daggerfall pikemen are slowly surrounding her, her exhaustion only too clear. 
The glint of a sword suddenly clutch, catches my eye, and I watch as Count Darius, steward of King Anton, delivers the vicious death blow. I should not have let it go. Not like this. Darius is a woman? Interesting. Ugh. That's awful. You're a dead man, Darius. Dude, that's awful. Why is she fighting with us? I don't understand why she was fighting with us. That's so odd. Because she, she wasn't in here as one of my knights. Dude, that's awful. My poor wife. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's awful. Maybe I can marry the Queen Marionette now. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Damn it, dude. Yeah, that's, that's quite awful. Really is bad. Come on, take the fight to the bastards. A fallen rival, yes. Amidst the chaos that engulfs the hills of Daggerfall, I attempt to catch my bearings. Yeah, ahead of me, Darius charges forward towards the enemy. Yeah, in mere moments, Nazir, Knight of King Terran, determinedly charges forward, holding his mace aloft, easily overcomes the remaining strength of Darius, and delivers the coup de grace. I can't help but grin at the thought that Darius died fighting in my wars. This will buoy my spirit for days. Ah, oh, damn. Darius was meant to be mine. No, it's okay. Good riddance. Thank you, my Pendragon Knight. That's amazing. Right? He is, he is still my Pendragon Knight? He sure is. Hell yeah, dude. The Pendragon Knight has slayed my enemy, Darius. What are you doing? Come back. I don't have enough men <laughs> to take on the siege alone. So I guess we're going to hang out here together. Come on, let's finish this fight quickly. The enemies move about. Yeah, very nice. Days left. Can I enforce my demands? He will accept it. Enforce demands. Yes. To the abhorrent King Te uh <clears throat> To the abhorrent King Terran. May your humors rot in your living body. Yeah, I know. Signed King Anton the Second of Daggerfall. So be it. And now the lands of Shaglora are mine. Ah oh, man, but my wife, dude, that's so sad. No, my wife. County control, I know. Skip lesson. Grand Tournament, no. Grand Tour, no. Lots of battle victories, thank you. I can station men at arms. Low county control, eh? Yeah, they don't like me very much. But I can hold this castle, so I don't have to grant this to anybody, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, lads. Yeah, so the castle of Shaglora will now be uh, gaining some some strength, lads. New culture head. You became the culture head of Glenumbran culture. Ah, an opportunity. In my attempts to align Queen Mariette to my interests, I have found an opportunity. I think I could argue that our goals are, in fact, the same. As I dictate my next letter... I emphasize, I emphasize those shared interests. She is convinced. Very nice. And I gained my first diplomacy perk. Yeah, we need defensive negotiations, so we're going to start with thoughtful for the time being. Delicate affairs. Lord Mayor Nellick has been of real help in the past few days, aiding me in my efforts to strengthen the realm's ties with our neighbors. He has just offered himself again to help me gain King Gerard's trust. It is so hard to find someone who can truly rely on these days. Very nice. Becomes my friend. Diplomacy challenge. Yeah, I think I can handle King Gerard. I want the uh, diplomacy lifestyle XP. Nice, it worked. Cool. Very nice indeed. Yeah, the kingdom of Dania grows. And as it happens, my heir is the first in line to the, uh, the chiefdom of Cregain, which is, uh, yeah, right up here. Cra yeah, Cregain. Cringain. Cringain. There's a another end there. I <laughs> didn't see that. But that's pretty cool, lads. That is pretty cool, is it not? Yeah. I think I'm going to push into uh, the county of Ilisan uh, against 
King Gerard of Glen Point. I think it's time, lads. It is, in fact, time. I'm gonna move this over here. Thank you. We're also going to call our ally Queen Mariette to war. Thank you, my lady. And we will raise all of our soldiers here. And now, Invisible College of Daggerfall. Why is it invisible? I have no idea. Yeah, but King Lorgrin of uh, Northmoor is also going to join this war. Luckily, we have allies to help cover our backs. Yeah, so we're going to head here to the Ellison Hills and lay siege to the, uh, yeah, to the city that is here. I'm being raided. Ah, oh, what the hell? From where? Ah, oh, no. Incurus. Damn you. Oh my. The seats of sundered kings. Yeah, there's an army from Glen Point uh, moving off to war, which is fine. Ah, yeah, see, there's the North Morians. The Raiders. Ah, the Glen Point bastards. Come on, let's take these lands right quick, lads. Now Dania is under siege, but it matters not. Swiftly, lads, we return home to Dania. You learn of Buest Kor's lover's secret. Interesting. She has a lover, apparently, which is fine. This happens. Come on, get there quickly, lads. Ah. Oh. Come on, lads. How about the bastards? Please, get there quickly. Yeah, we caught them, lads. Let's go. Enemy combatants captured. Beautiful. Now we head to the Lordship of Glen Point, lads. Ah, the sermon. Today, Gorin held a fiery sermon for all of the children of the court. They were apparently spellbound as he zealously read from the teachings. My daughter Osla now seems certain that she is destined for greatness, claiming that the divine support her indiscriminately. Uh, yes, let's get her ambitious. We can make that happen. A secret letter lost. God damn you, Magnet Hialan. Or Hiaris, you rap bastard. Alright, let us enforce our demands upon the king of Glen Point. Yeah, to the miserable King Terran. May your years be short and miserable. Signed, King Gerard of Glen Point. You're damn right, lad. And now the, Ilis the uh, Ilesson Hills, yeah, the Ilesson Hills are mine. Thank you very much. Very nice. The kingdom of Dania grows, my vassals, my warriors, my knights. Oh, can I, can I not offer him uh, vassalage? I do control the majority of his lands. Is that not something I can do? Can I request a claim? I cannot. Damn. That's, that's big sad, isn't it? Uh, I can declare war, however, to conquer the county of Aldcroft. Yeah, that way we can uh, connect our lands to Curus in the north. Yeah, the Principality of Aldcroft. He has allies in the far north with Kogria. Um, we declare war. Sorry, lads. But seeing as uh, your daughter died as my wife, we are no longer, you know, as allies, as it were. So, raise all my men. Let us call our allies into war. A lady, please join us, I beg. Thank you. And we summon our troops to war, lads. Yes, here comes the the soldiers of Camlorn. Come on now, lads. We march to war. Increased control. Yay, it worked. Very cool. We increased our control. Love that. Aha. Enemies. Enemies from the north. Yeah, Daggerfall is still well under siege by uh, 
Who's fighting over here? Yeah, Principality of Cambrai. Ah, Solitude and the Great Hall. My son, Terran, seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. He slipped underneath one of the tables and there hid from people for the entire meal. Uh, I don't want him to be shy. I don't want him to be impatient. I don't know. Impatient might be better here. Yeah, monthly prestige goes up. Hostile scheme power goes up. I don't know. I feel like... Um, Yeah, I feel like Impatience is probably better than the rest of them, if I'm being honest. Wow, Ilnivari Dawn Court. So, a, a faction wants independence from their liege. Popular opinion of Ralta. Interesting. I might have to bite the bullet and say convert the uh, faith in the county and promote cultural acceptance. Oh yeah, that's right, my contract. Damn, that's tough, dude. All right, we have enemies moving out, but we also have allies moving in to intercept. Oh no, they're gonna join us, perfect. If we can finish this siege, then we can move home to Dania swiftly and defend our lands. Now we march home, lads, hello? Yeah, we march home to Dania. I only have 1,500 men over there. I believe we can take them on, honestly, ourselves, if I'm being honest. Not uh, not entirely worried about all that. Yeah. King Jansil. Very nice. Enforce demands. Yeah, may wisdom ever elude you. Signed, King Jansiel of Reich Gradkeep. So be it. Your lands are now mine, you rat bastard. Can I offer him vassalage now? Does not seem like it. Can I request a claim now? Does not seem like it. That's tough, dude. All right. Now to uh, dissuade the Ilnivri Dawn Court. Uh, I have put my my steward to the task of promote cultural acceptance especially within the uh you know the uh the lands of rolta <clears throat> it was in fact not my intentions to uh you know to allow such such disgraceful acts to happen but alas here we are and not, you know, not the cultural acceptance being disgraceful, but the fact that the people have risen up to a point where they think that I, uh, I won't allow or accept their culture. Uh, that is the disgraceful act. So, feels bad, man. Feels bad. I can usurp the kingdom of Reich Grad Keep. You do not have enough gold drakes to usurp the title, I see. Yeah, I need 250. I'm almost there. That's not bad. Alright, I have low control in Aldcroft. For what reason? Not entirely sure. But, honestly, it's fine. It's uh, it's just one of those things. They have the forgotten gods. County is not of your faith. So here's what I'm thinking. Because they are not protected by, the, uh, by contracts, and because I own these lands, we are going to set these to convert faith in the county of, uh, of Aldcroft. Do I feel bad about it? Just a little. Ah... A hundred gold for the ransom of the uh, the lady. And now, now I have enough money to usurp the kingdom of Reich, Gradkeep. I will gain 300. Beautiful. I can usurp the kingdom of Daggerfall. How much is this going to cost me? 500. Damn it. We're so close. Soon, lads. Soon the whole kingdom of Daggerfall shall be mine. That's crazy. Look at that. Even Northmore, our uh, enemies. That's crazy. Soon, lads. So, so soon. Currently, it's held by King Anton II of Daggerfall, and the uh, the newest heir is Prince Salazar of, uh, of Daggerfall. I like that name, Salazar. That's interesting. All right, my lady. Perhaps you and I. Damn it, dude. All right, so here's what I'm thinking to cheese this, right? So if we go to a arranged marriage, we put myself and we put herself up there. 
the chance of children is none. She's too old, right? So the matrilineal marriage, all it means is that the children will be born into her dynasty, but not mine. And my dynasty does not change. So if I marry her and she accepts as a, uh, a matrilineal, uh, we can't have kids and I can become king of Camlorn. Beautiful. To the benign King Terran of Dania, I, Mariette, gladly accept your hand in marriage. I pray that we together can find redemption and atonement as well as happiness, husband. Signed, Queen Mariette of Camlorn. Excellent, my lady. Nice. Her primary heir is still her son, though, which is interesting. Nice. And he's still wed to the Princess Osla. Do they have a matrilineal marriage? I don't remember. That's very interesting indeed. I'm not entirely sure uh, where this is going to go next because she still kind of retains her, you know, her overlordship of Camlorn, which is fine. But now we're like married, married, you know, we have uh, two, uh, two marriages. Very interesting. But yes, now, uh, oh my count. <gasps> Whoa. Clawed to death by a harpy. Ah, oh, Vorthag, no. Aha. We can finally go to war against Balfiera. Yeah, with the strength of Queen Mariette of Camlorn. Yeah, Cabre Hills. We can only take one of the, uh... Yeah. We can only take one. Unfortunately, and I kind of want to go for the uh, the Isle of Balfiera and just take the Adamantine Tower ourselves. That would be quite interesting. House Dereni, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about their military strength, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's check it. Let's check this out. They have eight battle reeves. Interesting. Fifty war mages. Light horsemen. They're also currently losing this war against uh, Daggerfall. That is quite interesting. So maybe instead of going straight for Balfiera, instead we can kind of finish uh, Daggerfall. Oh, wait. I don't think we can. Yeah, we already declared war on them recently. Yeah, we can't declare war on them again. At least not yet. Very interesting indeed. Look at the Kingdom of Dania, though. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, honestly, I think we might as well just go for the, uh, go for the Isle of Balfiera itself. Take the Adamantine Tower and everything. That would be cool. Yeah, we go to war. Finally, our great vengeance is upon us. Can we raise any more troops? No, we cannot. We're still at our limit, which is fine. But we rally all our men here, and we will call our dear wife... Queen Mariette to war. Beautiful. At long last, our time has come, and we have defensive negotiations. That's perfect. Onward, my legions, my men, my warriors, to war. Yeah, we don't have enough men, just barely not enough men. Luckily, we have allies on the way. We just gotta keep a wary eye out for uh, Cabre, but they're also losing this uh, this war against King Anton. Yeah. Yeah, King Anton won his war. That's interesting. But now we have enemies at the gates, lads. Oh my. An unexpected visit. Yet again, Priest Gorin is late for a council meeting. This time, I will not let it pass. When I arrive at Gorin's chambers, I do not give him the courtesy of knocking. Priest Gorin is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. What are you hiding? Show me at once! Interesting. How delightfully wicked. According to this blackmail letter, Gorin is a non-believer. You're a priest! How dare you, you rat bastard. Yeah, even with our allies joining us, it's still uh, still five years. 
with suspicion. I took Osla out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. She later lashed out at me, thinking I had staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. She gains paranoid or sadistic. Aw, oh, man. Well, I don't want her to be sadistic, because that's uh, sinful. We'll make her paranoid. That sucks, but, you know. It's either it's kind of like the lesser of two v two evils at this point. Uh, Cambrai Hills, they're marching off. Yeah, we still have four years in the siege battle, lads. Yay! They've disbanded this uh the faction, the Il uh Ilnivery Dawn Court. Yeah, thank goodness. Obviously, we're doing something right. Nice. Yeah, I don't think uh, Cambrai Hills can attack us because they're also allied with, uh, what's it called? With uh, Camlorn. Or no, 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 no. I'm thinking of, I was thinking of this guy, Northmore. Northmore was recently uh, allied with, with uh, Camlorn. But they are not anymore for whatever reason. No idea. We shall be fine so long as we are able to uh, defend our lands and potentially finish this siege battle quickly. Pretty please. Ah, <gasps> oh, damn it. That scared the shit out of me. My dear Mariette, I might not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There were so many things I left unsaid. Yeah, she died. Drank herself to death. My lady, we're literally at war, like right now. Why would you do such a thing? Now I am no longer married. I love that. I love that. Oi, this is stressful. I was about to say, what does this mean for the kingdom of Camlorn? Now my daughter, Princess Osla... Once she uh, ages up, once she gets uh, old enough, she will start to have children with her betrothed, the King Percival the Plump of Camlorn. Yeah. And they, uh, they are in a matrilineal marriage, which means that they will be born under the, uh, the lineage of House Mordred. So all we got to do is wait out the Plump Lord. Luckily, both of our armies are still here. Oh my. With glee. I took my son Terran out playing with a bow, and to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe. When he showed me the animal, its wounds were evidence of a slow and torturous death. Terran just smiled. No. Then show me that you could have felled an animal yourself. Yeah, make him ambitious. Loses uh, sadistic. Good, good. Yeah, we don't want that, now, do we? Yeah, because they, they hold the war target. That's the only reason we're technically losing this uh this war there's still three years left like come on lads and look now the enemies are moving in a coveted claim bewest my knight frets all through the day evidently attempting to find the right words at last as we make our way to dine she begins sheep sheepishly sheepishly jesus my liege i hear rumors that gerard the king of glenpoint has come to see you as the focus of his enmity he talks openly of the illegitimate king of Shalgora, who daily usurps his rightful lands and revenues. Ha, the venomous knave. I don't want to gain stress. Yeah, let's do the uh, diplomacy challenge against him. We'll write to Gerard at once. Yes, it worked. Yeah, they're coming after my lands now. Monetary m ministrations. My king, I could not help but notice that you might benefit from some monetary aid. My vassal, Mayo Myrton, narrows his eyes in consideration as he proposes an arrangement. A loan to ease the burden on my treasury. Sure. Why not? Just for the time being. Boiling anger. You might be a king, but you are also a beguiling boar. The unprovoked anger expressed by my knight, Kamano, comes as a complete surprise. He has been under a lot of stress lately, but to behave like this... That even he struggles. It is calming. I'm being raided, are oh, you bastards? 
Come on, 23 months left. Let's finish this, please, lads. We're nearly there. Ooh. Archprimate Dionysius. Yeah, Di Dionysus. I'm just gonna call him Dionysus. He wants to grant me a claim on the Kingdom of Northmoor from the, uh, the 12-year-old queen, Elizina. Elizina. Sure. I'll take it. Why not? I have pondered your request and have decided to recognize your claim on the Kingdom of Northmoor. As Queen Elizina is a mere child, you are within your right to step in. Signed, Archprimate Dionysus of the Council of the Eight. I will prove myself a worthy ruler. That was a mouthful. I don't know why that was, I was struggling to finish that. Come on, finish this, please. Six months. The Siege of, uh... Oh my. A sensual proposal, and I gained a level of devotion. Interesting. My friend Joella is sure to follow. Might become my lover. No. How sweet, but no. Thanks. I had two wives already. One for love, and one for alliance. The stolen keg! I caught these two hiding in the pantry. A very irate cook shouts at me, dragging my son Terran and Mercer in tow. Mercer Wickton. Interesting. They stole a whole keg of cider and drank most of it. Now look at them, drunk as lords, both of them. They can barely stand, she says angrily. It seems as if my ward has fallen to peer pressure, but at least he and Mercer seem to be thick as thieves. Oh my. They went and immediately got shit on by the uh, Balfierans. There we go. Nice. Alright, so we won that battle, which is cool. Nice. I didn't realize there was a castle right here, so we're gonna we're gonna lay siege to this castle and continue our conquest of Balfiera. Damn it. Ah, oh, Nelik died of rot. Damn it, he was such a good chancellor too. Damn, dude. Oh wait, here we go. Hang on, hang on. Lord Mayor Armory. He's got really good uh Yeah, really good martial skills. I'll take it. Now who's got the best diplomacy here? God damn. You all suck. Yeah, you all suck, dude. This is awful. Yeah, the Balfiarans are moving in, lads. Come on, you bastards. Fight. Fight us. Yeah. Nice. All right, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Where are these hi where are these guys headed? Cabre Hills. Yeah, they're moving out. Damn, Daggerfalls really is just uh, holding out, aren't they? But yeah, the Cambrians, Cambre Hills. Yeah, here they come. They're heading to Rolta. Yeah, caught their asses on the retreat. Very nice. Gained a level of fame. We are now illustrious. Working our way towards exalted among men. And just like that, lads, the Danian conquest of the Principality of Balfiera is complete. We enforce our demands to the beguiling King Terran. May wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Kinlord Ankutar Len Hesolmo of Balfiera. So be it. Disband all. And now the Adamantine Tower belongs to the Bretons once again. There we go. Decision available. Repay loan. Yeah, pay 75. There you go. And there we have it, lads. We can now usurp the titles of both uh, the Kingdom of Daggerfall and the Kinhold of Balfiera. Unfortunately, we need a ton of money to make that happen. Uh, money that we do not currently have. But we can also create the kingdom of, uh, of Balfiera. That's interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I'm more interested in the, uh, the kingdom of Daggerfall, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I need 500 gold for all that. Alright, we're gonna... Marrying Unlanded. Yeah, I think we're just going to marry for the, uh, honestly, for her stewardship traits. 
Yeah, we're going to send the proposal. It's not going to get us any kind of alliance or anything. Oh, my injured vassal. Uh, he, he's the, currently the uh, the Count of Balfiera. Interesting. Yeah, but we uh we have now married just uh just for whatever reason, you know. I'm not going to change her look. She's not really like a great love of our life or anything like that, but we are going to utilize her really high stewardship skill to help us manage our domain. Very nice. And now the kingdom of Dania grows with every passing day, lads. And soon we will be able to uh usurp the throne of Daggerfall. Maybe we can even come and take Daggerfall itself. The, yeah, the Principality of Daggerfall. Imagine that. He's got two allies. The Countess Mela and Prince Corrick still of, Gr of Glenumbra Moors. Interesting. Glenumbra Moors. Yeah, very interesting. Pretty soon, lads. Pretty soon we will be able to conquer the entirety of of uh of hammerfell i would love to be uh named king of hammerfell that would be or of uh high rock not hammerfell high rock that would be interesting but alas we do have quite some uh quite a way to go uh but we are well on our way indeed lads and here my loyal knights we will leave our adventure at long last we have achieved our vengeance against the uh the clan dereni high elves of the uh of the adamantine tower we have retaken the tower itself and the isle of balfiera from the uh the treacherous clan dereni and sadly we have lost our beloved wife the uh the queen Letitia of dania but luckily our bloodline is secured and the throne of Camlorn is secured by our daughter our firstborn daughter and heir who has uh who was betrothed to the the uh, young prince of Camlorn under a matrilineal marriage as agreed to by her mother, by his mother. But now that the tides of war have subsided into the Iliac Bay, it is time to look forward into a future of diplomacy and stewardship. I must now read parchment and paper on how to properly manage my realm so that I can uh, muster enough of golden drakes to usurp the the title and the throne of the kingdom of Daggerfall. Once we have achieved this great conquest, this conquest of gold, we will then be crowned king of Daggerfall. And the southernmost tip of High Rock will belong to House Mordred. But until that time, my loyal knights, always remember honor and service, glory in sacrifice, and find a new hill, become a king. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the wars ahead. Goodbye.